Hey everybody, it's Jinji here. Welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we got the worst news we could have heard. Kushi is on her way to be Orchi's first sacrifice in a hundred years. We should go rush and save her, but really quickly. We keep listening in. Come out, Susano. It's the sacrifice. Uh, it's the sacrificial arrow, the work of the legendary monster. Are we tuned to be devoured by that horrible thing? I'm begging you, come out and deliver us from this evil. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of a chosen maiden. Nagi and Cherunui had put an end to that, uh, to that abominable tradition, but alas, it has come back to haunt us. Oh dear Kushi, forgive us. There's nothing we can do. Well, there's nothing you can do. There definitely is something I can try and do. Let's go see if we can catch up to her and see if we can talk some sense into her. And we don't have to look far to find Kushi. You okay, Sweeney? Don't try and stop me, Isun, or, or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's going to get you killed. Are you... Uh, you really think you'd win a little with a little jug of sake? Yes, yeah, see you soon. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Not you two, Ami. Dang it. Uh, why y'all getting worked up? Uh, there's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Best music in the game. Go! This song, known simply as Kushi's Ride, is easily one of the best songs in the whole game. Change my mind! Let's see how dead that meme is by the time this comes out, considering it's already a fairly dead meme. Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a defiling pearl of thunder from the village just now. Believe me. This is no night to be wandering about outside. If only you knew, kind sir. Our fate lies beyond this gate. Let's go. Moon Cave Entrance. Let's go see exactly what's up. Check it out. 
I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? Official. None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Hey, that's the serpent crystal you stole from us. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. Why you? What's the meaning of this? Meaning? <laughs> Does the saying like a moth to a flame ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. <laughs> Dang it. Looks like we've been set up again, Ami. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, anyway Masheri? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look! The moon! The moon! The moon came out! <laughs> Pardon, Masheri, that wasn't very good. <laughs> Fob, baby. I guess we're stuck here. Uh, but we're planning to take care of that order tree anyway. Cut it out, Ami. There's no use. Sh check the place out. Welcome to the moon cave. We come upstairs and... Alas, can't go any farther. Stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big of a leap for you. Either way, we have to find a way around. Or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's, it's that saying of mine. Leap before you think. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. I've actually actually used that saying at work before and had a lot of people question my decisions, but... <sighs> yeah, why not? Link before you think. Welcome? Well... What's kind of the start of the meat and potatoes, uh, the moon cave? 
Uh, now that we're down here, I hope we can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts, Furball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have in the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Great Order Chief. Over there? Oh, you! Never thought I'd see your face here. I could spot you a mile away. Ah, fixin' for a fight, you chumps. Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. Why, you're just a dumb old wolf! Eh? Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. <laughs> you gotta be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen! And look straight so far into a place like this. You're nothing too bright, are you, champ? Uh, I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if it, uh, Fluffy is just hungry. And gives us a radish. And we can't go any farther. Clair, 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 clarified? Carvin? Cavern? As a kid, I called it Carvin a lot. To, um... I always called it the Dongo's Carvin, and I never realized it was Cavern until... Some point in high school, I can't pinpoint an exact time. Hey, isn't this... Isn't this that babe, Kushi Sake? Uh, there's still some left. Uh, but I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. We start off the bat with a golden gate, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna let you guys know now. I'm going into this dungeon 100% completely blind. But with good- oh, come on. With good reason. Holy bonus, by the way. There's no missable items in Okami. Period and a conversation. Which means... That area's, um, uh, Moon Cave is one of those areas that as soon as you are done, you cannot go back. You're, you're done. And there's no missable items. As such, there's nothing here important to miss. So I didn't even look up a guide to this area. 100% of what you're gonna see here from me is based off of my memory of the Moon Cave, and it's been... A while since I have been here. Uh, putting it loosely. So... I'm going to apologize up front if, like, shit gets wankers. Probably not the best term I could have used in the world. Anyway, we get down here and, well, it's very clear what we gotta do at this point. Uh, to my knowledge, there's actually nothing else we really can do. Actually, I really like how... I, I don't know why I really like how that falls to the ground. Anyway. Nothing else we can do. A new enemy. Blacken! is actually like the easiest one of them. <sighs> really easy, what you gotta do is you gotta start with taking these skulls out. These skulls are his primary mode of attacking. Without it, there's not a whole lot he can do to you, especially if you're keeping a distance. In fact, you can see it stuns him. Attack like nuts, and he doesn't have a whole lot of HP. And here's the best part. Floor finisher is power slash. You get three demon things for this. Best part is, there's a part in this dungeon where you can just grind away. Yeah, no joke. But with this, we get the uh, mask. Um, it's like the ones... So we actually have to draw something here. 
You can draw whatever the balls you want. Yeah, whatever the ball. I'm not actually going to draw that. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm really tempted to right now. Um, you are given as many attempts to do it as you want, but as soon as you say yes, it, it's no go. Um, I can draw anything. Also, a noticeable small little detail is you're drawing with Isun's brush now. When when you're using the um, celestial brush, you're using your tail. It's a cool little. I think I know what I'll do. Good enough. <laughs> Why the hell not? Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like as we go through the entirety of this dungeon. Oh my goodness. Admittedly, I didn't give it any thought as to what I'd wanna draw, but I'm not disappointed with that. Um, I don't think I've ever talked about it. The reason why I do that as much as I do, that little, the carrot face emoticons, is, um, my, one of my favorite page admins of old. Um, for those of you guys that remember the original re -Lolly, um, cast, uh, that page on Facebook, there's not a single person who started that page that is there anymore. Um, one of my favorite guys was Private Pedo. That was his uh, tag on that page. And he was like, oh, one of my favorite admins on pages. This is obviously before I found like the Dora de page and some of the other better pages, because now it's such a super normie page, it's not even funny. Uh, what are you doing here? Are you looking for intruders? That's a thing I feel nothing out of the ordinary. I can't even tell that we're not an imp. And now we can go through to the real main potatoes of this dungeon. A uh, trophy urn to the moon, Ami. I'm really sad it's not the moon came out. <laughs> I tried my best not to laugh at that part, but, uh, but yeah. So we got this, we're gonna call it the main room of the dungeon. We go around in the circle, um, there's actually not a ton, especially that we can do right now. But, something to note. And actually, I'll get to that later. For now, let's actually continue to make some progress. Come in here. And we see a cooking pot and a couple of Konohana blossoms. Gee, I wonder what on earth you're supposed to do, as this guy say. Hmm. Uh, this is a fine time for the chef to disappear. Last I remember, he was right in front of the big pot. Where could he be? Gee, now I really wonder what we're supposed to do. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? And I don't remember that being in the Wii version, but that totally could have been, and I could just be completely mistaken. Um. Really? Okay. Not how I meant to do that. Owie, owie, owie! Hey, sweetheart! Yeah, you! Get me out of this room! Hold on! Owie, owie! Phew! That was a close one, darling. Dotting! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not sorry in the slightest. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can call me at Ad, Ajimi? Ajimi? I think it's Ajimi. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, uh, I'll I'll see if I can find his official pronunciation and put it on screen right now. But I think that's it. My cooking was such uh, my cooking with such tender, loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender, loving care. Uh, one an absolutely f fabulous mask you have there. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, say, how would you like to be my assistant? Uh, assistant? Oh no, I. Uh, I have to whip up some lip smacking appetizers to, uh, wet Lord Archie. Um, what or she's appetite before time comes for the human sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait. Uh, we uh didn't come here to help. You see. Oh, how should I put it? Tsk, tsk, never mind that. It's just I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I ran out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but. Uh, then I wouldn't, uh, be putting my heart into my beloved meal. My beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. I agree with that 100%. All artists know this. Thank you, Weesun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can't even now I'm I, now I'm actually like like thinking to myself now like it is video editing and art and I really shouldn't be spending this much time thinking about this um that's fabulous news sweetheart now you're calling me sweetheart there's four secret ingredients I'll need you to find now pay attention all of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave okay here goes Ogre liver, lips of ice, eyeball of fire, black demon horn. Got that? Then I'm counting on you. Oh, silly me, I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. Daddy. Yep, I totally just did that again. Um... I'll... You know what? I think we're going to end this one here. I know we didn't get a lot of progress done other than just making it to the moon cave. Next time, I think we're going to get a lot more work done into the moon cave. In fact, next time I may try and squeeze it all into one recording session. So with that, I think we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Next time on Okami, well, rest of the moon cave. Well... <laughs> A fragment of the moon cave. It's not a short dungeon. We got ahead of us. See you guys next time.